What a day. Professor Watt was his usual miserable self, and that test was a killer. Hopefully I can just relax and... Of course, Liam didn't do the laundry or clean. I'll have to do a load of laundry. I have an interview for a job tomorrow and have nothing to wear. I'll gather these clothes up and head to the laundry room in the basement. I'm going to have to talk to Liam later. I'm too upset and tired to go through it again. He's going to have to pull it together for this baby. Damn girl, you scared the bejesus out of me! I scared you? You scared me! What the hell are you doing creeping around down here? Look, I'm sorry for scaring you. I'll tell you, but can you keep this to yourself? Jesus Christ, Joe, you're insane. Yeah, I can. What's up? Well, the missus kicked me out and it's too cold outside, so I'm trying to wait her out down here. I really didn't mean to creep on you. Honest. I believe you. Just next time maybe don't go around slinging doors open and hiding in the dark. I will. Thanks, kid. Say, if you want to use the washing machine, it's, uh, broken. Yeah, thanks. I figured that out. Sorry again for scaring you, kiddo. It's okay. What's up, Sarah? Oh, you know, trying to balance life, school, and job hunting. It's a tough world these days. Liam been treating you well. When he isn't drunk, yeah. Look, 
You'll tell me if it gets bad. Yeah. I know it ain't easy to talk about. And you don't have to tell me nothing. Just promise me you'll tell me if you need help. My sister used to be in a bad situation too. And there's places you can go. I appreciate that, Stan. I really do. Yeah, sure. You doing some laundry at this time of night? I'm trying to. Of course, when I really need it, the washer downstairs is broken. Ain't that some shit. Yeah. And speaking of shit, I have an interview tomorrow, so I guess I'll show up smelling like crap. Well, if it's an emergency, I heard of this laundromat that's open 24-7, just outside of town. Still early enough to catch the last bus. I'll have to say, though, it's a hell of a time to be out so late. Especially with that maniac roaming around. I'm a big girl, Stan. Do you know the address? Sure, sure. Let me write it down for you. Just promise me you'll take care, I. Hurry and you might be able to catch the next bus. Thanks again, Stan. Hi there. Are you okay? Can I get you anything? It's gone. They, they, they took it. Did someone steal something from you? They took it. The people in the walls. They, they took it from me. Oh God, she's here now! I should probably leave him alone. Poor guy. Got any change? Sure, I have a couple dollars. Better than nothing. Thanks, kid. Haven't seen you around here before. I moved in not too long ago. I'm usually studying or at my classes, so that's probably why. Oh, a college girl, huh? What are you studying? I'm pursuing a career in education at the moment. Nice. That's what I got my bachelor's in. Oh, that's great. <laughs> I hope I can find a gig soon afterwards. If not, my sleeping bag has room for two! Where are you heading at this hour, if you don't mind me asking? The laundromat on the outside of town. Not sure I believe that. Pretty late to be doing laundry. Hey, if you're looking to score, I have a good deal just for a pretty little thing like you. You won't even have to pay cash if you know what I mean. How about you just drive the bus and I'll pretend you're not a desperate loser? Whatever, bitch. Sit the fuck down so I can get this piece of junk rolling again.
May I sit beside you? There's plenty of other seats, so I don't see why you would need to do that. May I... May I sit beside you? Are you deaf? Do I need to get the driver to throw you off? You're going to die tonight. What? You're going to die tonight. I've seen it. Tonight is your last night on Earth. You are walking straight into your doom. Can't you see that? You and that child inside you. How did you... You will be found just like all the others. Ripped open, your insides displayed for all the angels above to look down and see. Oh yes, of that I am certain. Please, just stop talking. May I sit beside you? All right, miss. This is your stop. Yes, what is it? Oh, um... Are you all really open all night? We're open all night, but I take my naps at midnight, so you better not need anything after that. Oh, okay. I'll be sure not to need anything. Yeah, we'll see. Doing a late night wash too? Yeah. I work night shift at the factory down the road. This place is the only one open when I get off work. Was a real pain when the first one burnt down. First one? You knew around here? Yeah, this place used to be next door years ago. But there was a big fire. I don't think they ever found out exactly what caused it. That sounds awful girl died in that fire, too. An employee. I don't like to spread rumors, but... But what? Pretty mysterious. The way she died, I mean. It wasn't a fire that started quickly. She should have had plenty of time to get out. But she was found in the office. 
I heard they were close to opening up a murder investigation. That a detective thought the girl was locked in. But then decided to drop it when nobody came up. You know, cops. Lazy sons of bitches. Well, if that's true, it does sound pretty suspect. Sure does. Feels like it got swept under the rug pretty quick, what with the womb ripper coming around and butchering those women. That has all the headlines these days. Doing a late night wash too. Yeah, I was a first one. That's girl. but what? Pre I well, if
house. Can I get you anything? No thanks. I'm just killing time until my laundry next door is done. Well, you're out late. Uh, just a heads up, we're closing soon. Feel free to hang out until then though. You've reached the late night flirt line. In just a few moments you will be connected to the girl of your wildest fantasies for 60 free seconds. Well hey there, stud. Oh, cool, no one's called me that before. Er, I mean, hey there, studette. I'm so glad you called. It's been so lonely over here. Been thinking about your big cut. Um, wait. Damn it, I'm sorry. This is my first night on the job. I don't think it's for me. Well, that's okay. I 
didn't even know what this number was for. I just called for kicks. Oh, yeah. It's been one night, but I've had my fair share of creeps. Oh, I bet. Well, what kind of person just dials a random phone number at this time of night? A burnt-out college student who's waiting for their laundry to finish so she can go home and get some sleep. Those places are still open at this time of night? Uh, just this one, a little out of town. Wait, in that plaza with the pizza palace? Yeah, that one. You know it? Yeah, I live out there. Hey, you really shouldn't be out over there this late at night, not with the womb ripper at large. I know one of the girls who went missing. She disappeared around that area, and I'm telling you that you should really just go home. There's some things that the newspapers don't talk about. There's more to it than just the stalking and killing. It's a real psychopath, and you are right in the middle of its hunting ground. Do you understand? You need to take your laundry right now and get out of there as fast as you can. Your free 60 seconds has ended. To have another late night sexy conversation, please enter your credit card number now. Oh, that got intense. I really wish I could leave. I'll just have to keep a lookout. Don't know how you got that, but yeah, I knew Lewis. He owned the old laundromat that burnt down. We were buds, but he disappeared one day. It's the aliens, I tell ya. Lewis is looking down on us poor schmucks right now from the cosmos. Can I help you? Looking for anything specific? A movie? A video game? Fish? Um, no. Just browsing, thanks. Alright, well, let me know if you need any help. And don't you even think about stealing anything. I have eyes everywhere. Wouldn't dream of it. You have quite an assortment of things. What kind of store is this again? It's Peepaws. I'm Peepaw. It's my store. Right. Old Lewis was a real son of a bitch. Had a real eye for the younger girls he did. Don't mean to gossip, but I have it on good authority. He was the one who knocked up that poor girl who worked for him. Can't remember her name, but between that scandal, the fire, and then the disappearances, I would say all the details will never be known.
got you. Uh, so you're not stealing anything? <clears throat> My apologies. I don't know how you got that, but yeah, I knew Lewis. It's the aliens, I tell ya. Yeah, sad day. Used to do my laundry there, and let me tell ya, it was a lot better than this shithole. Had this real hot chick working there too. Shame she got pregnant. Had real potential to be a passenger on the D train, if you know what I mean.
It's the employee. He's been ripped to shreds. I need to call the police. What's your emergency? Hello? My name is Sarah. You need to send someone now. I'm at the... Shit! Dispatch said they got a call coming from out here. But it's strange. I can't seem to be able to find anyone. That's so fun. It sounds like it's coming from that office by the pizza place. Hello? Is anyone there? This is the police. If anyone is there, then come out now. There's something wrong here. I better investigate thoroughly. What's that? Holy Jesus. Was it holding a child? Oh my god, am I glad to see you! You gotta help me! There's some crazy person running around with a knife! Slow down. It's okay. Just follow me, and I'll get you out of here. <laughs> Shit! There has to be another way out of here!
thou breaks, the cradle will fall. <laughs>
there's a wallet sticking out of his pocket. What? The driver's license belongs to Lewis Kennedy. But this doesn't make any sense. I need to get out of here and call the police. you asshole. I'm ready for you.
all makes sense now. Lewis Kennedy wasn't killing all those women. It was Samantha. After Lewis locked her in the laundromat and burned it down, she survived. And she must have lost her baby, though. With almost being killed, losing her child, and being terribly burned, she completely snapped. She killed Lewis, and then set her sights on killing others who had something she didn't. Oh, God. Well, I was pretty upset to be woken up so late for an impromptu auto when they told me that it was the actual womb ripper. Well, I got down here as soon as I could. I can't believe that it turned out to be Samantha Rhodes, who'd gone missing and was presumed dead years ago.